I didn't know how the windows I didn't know how the windows were really supposed to go in. The wall thickness and all the little things, the clamp ring, I, it was all foreign to me. That freaking train. It's like they have no concern for our filming schedule whatsoever. And all of a sudden it would break somewhere along the blade and I went through two packages of jigsaw blades cursing the whole time wondering what am I doing wrong. We're installing our 10th and final window today, so we figured we'd go through this step-by-step -step process as the first window we did was a learning experience, so now we should be professionals, right? Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. We started by marking the radius around the corners, so we've already got that marked on the metal itself. Now we're going to drill our holes. We're going to start with two half-inch holes, one in the bottom horizontal, one in the top horizontal. That's going to give us a spot for our jigsaw blade to go in. Let's drill it. All right, so that's our half inch hole. Now we're going to use a slightly smaller drill bit. I think it's a quarter inch, not really important. All it's going to do is allow us to drill a faster hole and it'll give us a guide for the outside. So we're going to drill a lot of these little guys. We got our holes drilled. This gives us a good template to cut around from the outside. It also gives us a little spot where we can make some small adjustments with the blade. So it makes our life easier. We're gonna start out in the half inch hole and as we go along, we'll have these milestones where we can adjust if necessary. So let's go outside and start cutting. We're gonna be using our jigsaw with the metal blade. One thing I will say is that the first blades that we were using I bought online because it was a good deal and I didn't realize how short they were. So the previous blades that we purchased were so short that at their lowest position in the stroke of the jigsaw, the tip of it was extremely close to the plane of the jigsaw base plate. So as you're running the jigsaw along, don't worry this is not plugged in, <laughs> but as you're running the jigsaw along, it's oscillating in and out. That blade was almost coming out of the cut just in its standard <laughs> sort of a cycle. The problem was every now and again the blade would pop out because of differences in the surface of the metal outside and then the blade would buck the jigsaw and hit the metal and all of a sudden it would break somewhere along the blade and I went through two packages, two five packs of jigsaw blades cursing the whole time wondering what am I doing wrong. I tried changing the speed settings on the jigsaw, the orbit settings. I was trying all sorts of stuff. They just kept breaking. <laughs> it was so frustrating. I went to Home Depot. I took my old blades or the pieces of them and I just wanted to see if there was a longer metal blade and sure enough there was. Should have done that long ago. It was my own lack of knowledge but I'm just throwing it out there for those of you who might have been in the same boat. These blades, the longer blades that I picked up, it was, you know, eight bucks for a pack of five. It's, they're, they're pretty expensive, but they haven't been breaking. I've been able to use one blade to go through, I think three or four windows now. And previously it was taking me three blades a window, which is just ridiculous. That's why we almost started using the angle grinder to cut the windows out. Anyhow, that's all I have to say about the blade. Helps when you know what you're doing. We don't always know, so <laughs> learning experience. Let's get cutting. Just gonna mention the settings that I'm using really quick. I have the orbit on one on the jigsaw and the speed setting at three. So there's a small amount of orbit as it's the blades going in and out. Speed is relatively slow and that's just giving me enough control over the blade itself and giving the blade time to cut through this decently thick metal here. Those are the settings that have been working the best for me. You might have to tailor the settings on your own jigsaw a little bit to work best in your situation, but that's what's been working well for me. A couple tips. When I was operating the jigsaw, I always had two hands on it. The hand that was on the handle was obviously pulling the trigger 
but it was also pushing the jigsaw into the surface so that it doesn't buck out. The other hand was slowly guiding that along, so it was either, if it was back here, it was pushing, if it was up here, it was pulling, and that gave me a nice, steady, slow kind of progression across the metal. You want to let the tool do the work and not go too fast. Uh, that's something I learned the hard way. It's nice to just go steady and slow. some gloves on so I can barely hold the metal on his last cut and I'll slowly grab some more as he gets closer to finishing that cut. Can you push it towards me? So we got the metal cut out of the wall, always nice when that's done without injury to self. <laughs> As we already told you with the back one, I cut my hand open when the jigsaw started bucking. So not a whole lot to it, it's nice to have it out. And I guess before we put the jigsaw away, one little fun fact, jigsaw was the first power tool that I ever got. My grandpa gave me my first one when I was six years old. I didn't cut any fingers off. <laughs> I still have them all, so yeah. It's been the tool that I've known how to use the longest. Pretty cool. All right, next step is I slap my hand <laughs> down on the metal edge. It <laughs> It's not going to cut it. Next step is going to be painting this edge really quick. We're just going to use a, a latex primer. We're just going to go over it. If metal rusts, it's going to rust. There's only so much you can do to prevent it, but it's going to help prevent rust a little bit. That and the actual putty tape that we put on will end up hopefully oozing over the edge and uh, helping to isolate that fresh cut metal edge as well. So we're gonna take the paintbrush and some latex paint and kind of dab it around the edge. So we've just been using this little 50 cent dollar, whatever it is, brush, throwaway brush, and putting some latex paint on the tips. And what we did was go around the entire outside edge and just dab along the edge to get it coated with a little bit of the paint. Now, the reason we're going from inside to out, we want the drips to be on the inside if there are any drips. That way we don't have a bunch of latex paint dripping along the outside. All we did was swipe the paint around the edge all the way around, and that's gonna give us a little bit of rust protection, even if it comes off in a few places. You know, you can only do so much. If you really wanted to be professional, FYI, you could have filed down the edge of the window prior to this step so that all the little loose shavings were taken off the edge. But it was a pretty clean cut. We went slow, not too worried about it. And I think we're ready to put the putty tape on the window and slap her in. All right, before we put the putty tape around the inside flange of the window, I wanted to explain to you a couple things that I really found difficult when we were first planning out our window locations and I didn't know how the windows were really supposed to go in and the wall thickness and all the little things, the clamp ring, I, it was all foreign to me and I was really having a hard time figuring it out and didn't want to mess it up, obviously. So I kind of researched until I had a pretty darn good idea and then just went with that. Luckily, it ended up being the right way. And even though the actual installation process has been a learning experience, the assembly process was correct. The assembly process that I visualized was right. So. I'm going to explain that really quick and hopefully it makes it easier if you're somebody like me who was having a, a little bit of trouble really grasping how this works. So we have two pieces to our overall window assembly. We have the window itself in the frame of the window and the interior clamp ring. So the two of these pieces, when they come together, 